Welcome back to Agiostack. In this video, I will show you how to integrate WYSIWYG editor created by Frola. So this is a very nice WYSIWYG editor that uh, we can use. It is very rich in the features. So it is very beautiful and nice. If you go to the example section, you will see that it has a lot of flexible options that you can use in your projects so here you can see that we have a lot of uh, options that you will be able to use in your project it has provided demo and uh, explanation and documentation for every kind of example for example if you want to see how to export as a PDF if you click on that then you will have that option in your WYSIWYG editor to export the content of the editor as PDF. So you can see that the, this is the editor. You can make changes here. And uh, now we have the PDF button on the top. If you click on that, it will generate the PDF and it will download it. And you can see it has created PDF from that content that is really amazing and very helpful so you don't have to write uh, this kind of code from scratch you can just use it from the Proella so it is uh, it has both uh, free and paid versions you can use a free one if you want to download this uh, editor just click on the download button and and fill this form and click on the download button that will give you the download file of this editor so I'm going to fill it click on the I'm not robot click on the download button and wait for some time it will give you the file okay the editor file has been downloaded in the zip form so just click on that and you will find that folder and in this folder if you double click on the main index file you will find all of the examples that you can use in your project so you can just click on anyone and see how it works so you can see that you can use the bootstrap grids as well So it has a lot of things that would, would be very helpful in your projects. So anyways, uh, let's start uh, uh, integrating this uh, editor in our existing Angular project. So let's use this one full featured. So I'm going to use this uh, uh, example that has all of the features, uh, almost uh, all features in it that we can use. So for that, let's go back to the folder and find this file. Go to the HTML and search for the popular. In the popular folder, we have the full.html. Just drag this file and open it in the VS Code. So the file has been opened here. Now. Uh, we have to copy paste these uh, style sheet files these links copy them and go back to the index.html file of your angular project and paste it in the head section and now we need the CSS folder for that go back to the uh, zip file area and before doing that I'm going to create a folder in the source the folder name would be assets in the assets I would do copy paste the CSS and JavaScript files okay so just drag them in your VS code and drag it in the assets folder now you can see that we have CSS and JavaScript folder in place now we have to fix the path 
as we have copied and pasted so that's why the path has to be corrected so just select that and replace with the asset slash and after that is done go back to the full dot html scroll to the bottom and copy paste all of these javascript files up to the bottom copy them and paste them here again we have to fix the path so replace all of the dot dot slashes okay now path has been corrected now final thing that we have to do is just copy this thing and uh, open your app component and there I am going to add a div I can call it editor uh, and uh, in this you can paste uh, add anything if you want hello world and now go back to the app component uh, .ts file and here we have to uh, instantiate that class that we copied from here this Froala editor has to be instantiated when uh, the HTML is ready to be used so for that we have to use a lifecycle hook that would be uh, after content in it after view in it so with that lifecycle hook uh, in that lifecycle hook we will have all of the DOM uh, elements ready and available ready to be used and then we will instantiate that so ng after view in it in this function just paste this one and it is giving me error that it is not found but actually it is available globally so you even if it gives you error don't worry just uh, ignore this error by typing ts ignore and now let's test and open this uh, it did not work the reason is that the id does not match go back and make it same now if you reload it you will see that the editor is being shown here and working perfectly fine so just to test it if it is working fine we can just add things that we can try to click on multiple items so we also have this nice insert button here you can insert a table you can add order list a lot of things so we also have the code view section you can also copy the HTML code if you want to get it so by the way you don't have to use all of these options or all of these plugins if you just want to keep it simple if you want uh, a very basic editor with the minimum features with the minimum plugins then you can do that as well because these buttons are not compulsory so let's uh, try a simple example as well now so i am going back to the list of the examples and let's find a very basic uh, example that we will try so let's try this example custom buttons in this you can see that uh, options are fewer than the earlier example so in this example we can see that the options are the number of options are less than the previous example so let's uh, try to use it to find it we have to go into this path that is html buttons and custom buttons so let's go to the folder okay so again i am going to copy paste the files i am not comparing which we have already and which we don't have so i'm just going to replace all so paste them again and similarly copy paste the script files as well
again let's fix the path and after that we have to look at these options you can see that so let's copy paste all of this and open the app.component.ts and instead of this i would paste this one and i have to add this ignore in before every error because this is just typescript error but this is not an actual problem right now let's open our app and see so it is not working because the id is not same so i'm going to fix the id and refresh, refresh it again okay now you can see that the editor is showing here and all of the buttons that were added are also working so also the custom buttons are visible so that's how we can keep it simple as well if we want and we can also uh, delete buttons for example you can just remove this array and you will see that all of buttons are gone and uh, only three these three are left you can remove these one as well for example let's keep only one and see what happens you can see that only one button is there so this is how you can keep your uh, rich text editor very simple if you want to or you can uh, keep a very full fledged example in your application. So I hope that this video was useful for you. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.